All right, so here is the 6594-W Power Force Bagless, the one that I am fixing up. So I already took off this weird damaged hose that obviously isn't the correct one, it's cracked. And I also took off the extension wand and crevice tool. So that's all gonna get washed. I already wiped off this whole back panel. You can see it's mostly clean. So I'm not gonna do too much else with that um, unless the inside behind the dirt container is so dirty that I really need to wash it. But here we can see the bottom. This brush roll is completely seized. So we're gonna pull this off. No screws for this, just three little clips to undo this. It appears none of them have really broken in any meaningful way. So, well, I stand corrected. This is pretty strongly on here. There we go. See, there's a lot of dirt caked in here. And on the other side of this, this is going to get washed as well. None of these little tabs are broken, or these little slots, little plastic things are broken. So that's good to see. Take this little piece of, piece of tape off that's stuck to it. Obviously you don't want to wash that. And we can start cleaning some of this up. Yeah, this is not budging at all. Ugh. So this brush roll is complete. So this brush roll is completely melted. The bearings are entirely shot and this thing is definitely not going to be all that salvageable. I could try dropping some oil in the bearings, but I'm not really going to bother, I don't think. But look, there's a little piece chipped off down here. But that's not too bad. The actual end caps aren't melted or anything. They look fine. There's no belt on this spindle at all. And there is a large amount of rust on this motor spindle. And as well as rust on the inside of this, this whole housing. So this is going to need a wash. And I'm going to need to... Uh, get the rust off of that spindle one way or another so yeah this is definitely going to need some sort of a donor brush roll as I fully expected but what I'm going to do is I believe this power groom helix rewind should have a good brush roll in it so hopefully it does and if so I can hopefully 
take a brush roll from that. But we will have to see. So at least assuming that's a wide path brush roll, I assumed it was, maybe it's not. But we will see either way. So that's the status of that. And so for now, we're going to take this base assembly off and wash all of this. You can tell there's a screw here, screw here, screw here, and a screw here. So that way this under piece can pop off. So we'll do that now. All right, so there's the base completely pulled off. And unfortunately, one of these screws snapped off. The head of it snapped off. Z1 right there. So I'm not going to be able to remove this piece. But yeah, because that's what happens in these... Screws are really rusted, they deteriorate over time, and eventually they just completely break, which is really bad. That's one of the things I hate the most about these is that the screws can often get rusted out, and if you can't pull the vacuum apart, you can't fix it. But thankfully, I can get away with this with not removing this middle piece. It just won't be as clean, but it will. I'll still be able to put a new brush roll in it just fine. And it shouldn't affect it too much. So this is all going to get washed. As well much of this upper section that also needs to be washed as well. So I've got the Power Groom Helix Rewind, Rewind right here. And I was pulling the parts off of it so I used to fix the 6594. I pulled off the uh, HEPA filter cover since obviously I'm going to need that to put on this one. And then I went to pull out some other parts and stuff and what is this like it does have the outer circular filter so I could take that since the other one since this one's missing it but what is that filter do they not realize that that filter is doing literally nothing because the air is just going right through it like, are people that stupid? I don't even know what filter this is. But it's obviously not the right one. They just jammed it on there. It's not even like, like it's attached, but it's not like on there properly. Like this is crazy. So that's odd. Oh, also this filter is so crusty for some reason. Look at that. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Well, I'm still going to try to wash this. Oh, what is that? I don't even know if I want to know what that is. Let's leave and focus on it. But that's getting washed. This pre-motor filter is... Wow, that is solid with stuff. Am I even able to get that out? Yeah, this is uh, possibly a lost cause. Now I am going to take this cyclone piece out because that Power Force Helix is missing it. I guess I could also take it out of this Helix as well, but I'll, I'll steal this blue one. So that's going to get washed as well. I, may, I actually may just go ahead and put it in this one since then it will match the filter cover and then the uh, lock and seal lever will still match the high adjustment knob so there's that so these two things will get washed and out of this <coughs> oh wow and we'll see if this brush roll is hopefully salvageable not holding my breath too much but hopefully it is salvageable. We will see. I guess I could also put this handle on if I wanted to add a turbo brush to this thing. Because I am going to put this handle on my other 6594 since it has the proper sticker on it. And it's otherwise in good condition. So, because the sticker is not going to match the 
uh, vacuum that's on the pictures because it'll have a couple of different parts on it. So might as well just stick this handle. Well, then again, it says Corp Rewind, and this isn't a Corp Rewind. I don't know. I can just Frankenstein a machine up if I really want to. But yeah, so that's that. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just realized this is the correct filter, but they somehow broke off the top piece. What? What? I've never seen that before. Yeah, so that's that's new. I've never seen that before where they actually broke off the entire top portion of the filter. Yeah, because that is the correct filter on the bottom. Wow, that is insane. And you can even see the little latches as it as it slides underneath the other latches and holds it in place. That is insane. Well, that goes back in there since none of this is going to be all that useful. And so far, just these two pieces will be getting washed. So, figured I'd show that. That's pretty interesting how that filter is messed up. But, uh, yeah. So that's the parts machine being used adequately. So I just pulled off the base plate from the Power Groom Helix Rewind, and apparently Bissell thought it was a good idea to have both plastic clips on this. Ow. That just fell and hit me. And have normal screws. I don't know why you would have both. It doesn't really seem like there needs to be a reason to. Also, to quote Dank Pods, someone's been in here. Because this, I don't believe, is the correct brush roll. I don't believe a blue vacuum is supposed to have a red brush roll. This appears to be a brush roll from a Bissell Power Force Helix Turbo. Uh, the newer either 1701 or 2190 models. So that is interesting. Any Bissell collector who has this exact vacuum with the original brush roll can clarify that for me if that is inaccurate. But that's what it appears to me. It appears that someone's been in here. As how someone was in this Power Force Helix as that is a older style Power Force Helix turbo brush inside this machine. So, I don't know what it is. I don't know if the same person had a bunch of these vacuums and was swapping parts with Tima 2, although then again, there is no Helix Turbo here. So, maybe someone junked another vacuum that had a good brush roll, and then this one needed a brush roll, and they put a new brush roll in it, but then at some point still blew the entire thing up and cut the cord off of it. I don't know. It does have a belt, though. It's very, very worn, though. Whereas this one didn't even have a belt on it. So, yeah. I'm just learning. I'm, I'm just seeing more and more bizarre things today. But, no, that's the nature of the job. Alright, so I pulled the brush roll out of this. And you can see it right here. It uh, does the little uh, spinny thing. So, it does it. But, uh, do you want to see how much You want to see how much hair pulled off of this thing? Ew! Ew! That all came off of this. All of that! All that came off of it. This is what I this is what I deal with on a daily basis in this in in this industry. This, this, people don't clean their stuff. And look at that. Look at that. that's all rusted out and it's just so gross. Look at that. But it spins. It works. It spins. So that, so because this one spins and the one that this this had didn't spin. So this is going to go inside of this. In fact, I'll demonstrate it. See? Just you see this? See this little brush and you see the it's just there, 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 j j just like that. Ew, 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 ew. Where is the power switch? Oh.
Ew. Oh God. So it spat all of that junk out of the motor. Some of that, some of that stuff was in the EPA filter thing. Oh God. Uh, ew. Obviously, I'm being dramatic. Once you like do this for a living for 15 years, like I have, it it starts to become more routine and less gross. But when you're doing this for the first time, and it's on a vacuum that you weren't taking care of, it, it can get, it can be pretty grubby. Like, ugh, look at all this. Ew. Just just no. Ew. I just noticed something. Are those bath salts? Is that... Are those not bath salts? That looks... That looks like bath salts to me. I've never used bath salts, so I don't know what they look like. But, like, come on! Or, like, because that's, like, normal... Or is that, like, sea salt? Is that salt? Does this vacuum have salt in it? Why? I just punched this thing, and it sprayed me with salt. Why? Why? Just... Why? I forgot these. Uh, I forgot these. Uh, I put that on the door so that way it wouldn't hit the... Hit the wall like that. <laughs> so I haven't gotten door stoppers yet. Ugh. Look at that mucky water. Ew. Look at that. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, God, it splashed me. Ew. This dirty water. A little shark just chilling in the corner. This dirty water. But everything's looking clean. Obviously, now that this is all dirty, I'm going to have to... Rinse this out and then wash all this over again, uh, again, and then let it sit, soak again until, you know, if I want to be super thorough. But look at how clear this bin is. Look at this. Look at how sparkly that is. I've never seen an older Bissell bin get that sparkly. Look at that. If that dirt wasn't still stuck in there, this could pass for brand new. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So, it's going to clean up pretty well, even better than the other 6594s, or really any of the older Bissells, or unless, unless they were, I don't remember them being that clear, normally they get really cloudy, but yeah, so, what's all that, this is the original, the uh, original Cyclone piece, but I'm going to put the, since I'm putting the little filter thing in here, I'm going to put the blue one in too, so at least it matches with that, and ew, that's still dirty, I have to, I have to scrub that. Basically, I just kind of threw all this in there and just let it soak for like an hour. And now I'm going to drain it all out and wash it all again. Because you got to get this stuff thoroughly if you want it to look new. Look at this nugget. Just, ugh, poor guy. But uh, it'll look a lot better once it's done. Well, time to drain this. Got to pull the... There we go. Ew, why is it orange? Oh no, my Samsung Gear S2 got wet. Not sponsored. Alright, I'm gonna let all that drain and then wash all this crap all over again. Wash your hands afterwards because that water is nasty. Oh wow. Yep, that's draining. Wow, those still look clear. Nice. Hopefully they stay that way after I wash them again. <laughs> 